guys, check this out. New Jurassic World mini dinosaur figurines right over here. Hello all dinosaurs and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we have lots of Lego figurines right over here, okay? So these are basically some limited edition, you know, Jurassic World mini figurines right over here, okay? So we are going to assemble them together. I'm going to show you guys my entire collection of um, Lego dinosaurs as well. So let's get right into it, okay? I'm very excited. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, so let's begin, okay? The first one, let's take a look at um, maybe this T-Rex right over here, okay? So it looks like a beautiful T-Rex. I'm not too sure, you know, where this is actually from. It's perhaps from a Lego magazine, okay? So let's assemble this together. I've actually pre-assembled it so that it's faster for us. So we just need to put on um, the head, which is right over here. Okay, just snap it on and the fingers or, or the arms okay just snap this on easily like this and now for the other one okay so this is basically rexy i guess the t-rex from jurassic world tyrannosaurus rex it looks really beautiful i must say that's open at the back so you can see this t-rex it has a movable jaw the legs can be moved the tail can be moved as well, so that's pretty cool, right? So this is our first figure of the day, okay? Yep, really nice T-Rex. I mean, it looks really robotic, but I think it looks pretty good. And speaking of T-Rex that looks robotic, we do have another one. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this before. This is basically like a fossil. You can just put this on like pretty easily like this. Step it on. Okay, so there we go. This is the skeleton of the T-Rex or rather the fossil, but it can't really stand very well. It keeps falling over like this, but this is a really beautiful one. Yeah, this is also from Jurassic World that we have got like a couple of uh, months back, but still a very cool one, okay? So let's place this over here and let's take a look at another one. How about this lab set right here, okay? So this is actually like Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu and um, this is basically like his study desk, I mean computer desk, that's baby blue. So let's assemble this together. I've basically like pre-assembled them so it's very easy for us. Okay, just gonna do a zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so you can see this is like the desk, there's the keyboard over here and this is the screen. You can actually move the screen up and down. So that's pretty cool. And this is like an amber. You can see a mosquito that's trapped inside the amber. So this is basically for Dr. Wu to do some research, I guess. And there is a, an egg right over here. Are we able to put this egg here? No, we, we can't. So you can possibly just put the egg, you know, right next to the um, study desk. Seems like this egg is actually hatching. That's Dr. Wu for you. Let's just put on the hair. <laughs> Seems like Dr. Wu is like panicking. Yeah. He's not really happy. And that's baby blue for you. Okay. Looks really cute. This set looks pretty amazing. It's a really small set, but looks very, very nice. All right. Let's put this right over here. Okay. Let's move on to the next set. How about this Triceratops set here? Okay, limited edition. So let's assemble this together, okay? This will take a bit more time because I can't re really remember like, you know, how to actually do this. So I think this will go through. Just for the head. Wow, it's tough. Okay, maybe let's just try the legs first, okay? The legs first. I think all four are the same, so that should be pretty simple for us. Right. So, two legs are in. Now for the other pair. Is this correct? I think so. Oops, no! You got it wrong, guys. I mean, you got it wrong then. I think the shorter one should be um, in front. 
the longer, longer ones behind. Is this correct? I think we, we could have possibly done this wrong, I'm not too sure. But it seems to be okay. Yep, and this is the tail. The tail can just be like, you know, plonk in right here. I think the head is actually the one that is pretty challenging. So I'm trying to figure out how do we actually put this in. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oops, the tail came off. So let's put it right back. One of the um, horns. So there you go, a cute little triceratops. Okay, so yep, yeah, take a look at this. Yep, the triceratops looks really cute. Yeah, I think we got the legs correct. I mean, if you take a look at the picture, it seems correct. All right, so that's the triceratops for you. Really beautiful one. And speaking of triceratops, we do have a pretty new, relatively new triceratops that was released like earlier, I mean like late last year. This is the Triceratops from the Jurassic World line. Pretty cool figure. Right? So not too sure that you guys have seen this before, but it's a nice one. Next, let's um, fix up this. I'm not too sure who this is. Is this like Hoskin? Probably. I have no idea. I think this could be Hoskin. So let's assemble this. It is partially assembled. So let's try. I'll put this here. Oh, this is probably for the back. And this one looks to be slightly smaller, I guess. Yep. Okay, so that's. The vehicle, the vehicle is pretty cool. You can actually see there are like two headlamps and the steering can be moved, okay? It's a pretty cool little vehicle. And that's, this, this is probably Hoskin. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So you can put on uh, the hair. He's the, yeah, I think he's a Hoskin. I, I remember the outfit. So you can put him like sitting down or, you know, possibly like, you know, standing as well. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. Okay, cool little figure. The vehicle looks really good. All right. Next, let's take a look at this set right here. This is basically blue with a little cage. And the cage actually contains like a um, drumstick, chicken drumstick. <laughs> It's really adorable, right? Okay. So this is the cage that is already like partially assembled. Okay, so let's see what else is needed. So we just need to put this right over here. So it becomes like a little door, a little gate. Another one right over here. So that you can actually put um I think this is Charlie inside. You can close it. And uh, we need to put on the wheels as well. Okay. Alright. And Charlie is inside. And here's the little drumstick. I mean, take a look at this, guys. It looks super cute. And uh, I think you're supposed to put this drumstick into this little pouch here. Alright. And there's this little, like, what do you call this? Like a spanner. And if you just have to, like, you know, put it right over here to make this cage, like, to make it stand. So pretty cool. You can actually open and um, retrieve Charlie from the inside. Oh, Charlie is stuck. Oh dear, Charlie is stuck. <laughs> Alright, she's out. So that's the cage set. I'm not too sure what is this set called, but seems like, you know, a cage set. Our last set of the day is actually this Owen and um, probably Echo. I'm not too sure. Okay.
Okay, so let's fix this together. This is very simple, it's just a minifigure with a um, Velociraptor. So let's just put on Owen. Okay, Owen is wearing like his trademark or vest and shirt inside. So Owen, you know, he's looking really um, grunge. I'm not too sure whether grunge is the right word to describe him right now. Very rugged. And this is supposed to be the tranquilizer, I guess. You just put it into one of his um, hands. And this. The Velociraptor for you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's a small set. Really small set. So let's just put this right over here. And let's take a look at all our other Lego dinosaur figurines, okay? So in case you guys do not know, Jurassic World Dominion is actually coming out this summer, which is in June. And um, there will be plenty of new dinosaur figurines. I'm very excited. There will be definitely um, like a Pyroraptor, a Giganotosaurus for sure. I'm pretty sure that there will, there will be one. So this is the Indominus Rex. It would not be in Jurassic World Dominion. So this Indominus Rex is actually very cool. It's a dark grey um, version. And of course, this is the very original version, which is the white version. But you can see it is starting to turn a little bit yellowish. Yep, this is what happens to all the, you know, figures that are in pure white. They tend to become yellowish very, very easily. So this is the um, two Indominus Rex from the Jurassic World line okay very cool let's move on and take a look at um maybe the baryonyx i love the baryonyx so we have dream right over here we also have chaos in case that you guys do not know the name the names so chaos is the one with um you know the dark blue you know the one that looks like the rory Vaughn from mattel so this is a really beautiful you know baryonyx we also have Grim. Grim is the one I think is the one that was cute in Camp Cretaceous. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure. So yeah, there you go. Two Baryonyx. I don't think there will be more Baryonyx coming out in Jurassic World Dominion. There will definitely be you know plenty of new species. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, let's move on and take a look at what else we've got. How about let's assemble um, some Ankylosaurus? We have two of them. I mean, we don't have to assemble them. Okay, check them out. Okay, this two, one of them is actually a bootleg. This is actually the bootleg, which means it's not an original Lego figurine. I mean, you can actually remove the head like this, and you can see the joint. The joint is actually different in color. I mean, all Lego joints are black in color. This one is white and white. You can take a look at the original um, Ankylosaurus. It doesn't have a um, movable head, I think. Can this be removed? Nope, it can't be removed. Yeah, I mean, if, of course, it's, it's a much um, higher quality figurine. So that's the Ankylosaurus for you. Let's pop this right back. Yeah, but I really like this green Ankylosaurus. I think it looks really cool. All right. Let's move on and take a look at um, the T-Rex collection, shall we? Alright, I think this has got to be our latest one. The dark grey T-Rex. I think it reminds me of the Cam Cretaceous T-Rex, if you ask me. Alright, a beautiful one. This one right here, it's actually relatively new as well. We have two of them. The exact same one. So you can just mix up the heads, I think it's fine. Of course, the T Rex will be once again, you know, released in Jurassic World Dominion. I'll be really, really happy to, to catch it. I mean, to, to get it once again. Because, you know, T Rex is actually my most favorite um, dinosaur. I mean, since ever since I was a kid. Let me just put this right over here. All right. Yeah. So really beautiful, a really beautiful army of um, T-Rex. 
let's take a look at um, the Connell Taurus first. So Connell Taurus, we have two of them. One is a generic Connell Taurus from Jurassic World. The other one is actually a Camp Cretaceous Connell Taurus. So if you take a look at this, it has this scar right over here, but of course this scar is just a painted scar. I've, if I'm not wrong, this actually belongs to um, this head. Uh, I can't remember, you know, we can... I mean, we could have probably got them mixed up, but I feel they look... No, I think this one belongs to this one because it has the spots. So I beg your pardon. Yeah, I mean, you can see it has like consistent spots on the head as well as the body. So this is the um, generic Conotaurus, which is from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And um, this is Conotaurus Toro. Yep, for Conotaurus Toro, I'm pretty sure, you know, we can have maybe two more. Cause Conotaurus Toro is supposed to be darker in color. It's supposed to be like dark gray. Yep, I mean, if you've watched the cartoon, the series. All right, let's move on and take a look at how about some raptors. Maybe not, maybe Dilophosaurus first. Okay, we have two Dilophosaurus. One of them is actually a very, very old um, Dilophosaurus. I think at least like all the way back in like 2015. So this is starting to become like really vintage. I mean like three more years, this will be like 10 years old. This little Dilophosaurus right over here. Where else for this, I think this was just like released like, you know, two years back at most. So we have two Dilophosaurus right over here from, you know, Lego Jurassic World. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, I definitely like the bright luminous green one more because it, it is like a classic. I think everybody knows it. Yep. Next, let's take a look at um, this one. How about the um, Galley Mimus? Yeah, the Galley Mimus right over here. This is a new species, which I'm super happy that, um, you know, Lego actually come up with a new species, which is very rare because they seldom come up with new species. And I'm still waiting for them to come up with like a um, Spinosaurus. I think that'll be amazing. So this is the Galley Mimus. Absolutely amazing stuff, but uh, I mean, if you take a look at the body, it's more or less the same as um, you know the Velociraptors. But really beautiful. I love the neck. The tail looks. The tail is pretty much the same. Yep, beautiful Gallimimus. Next, let's have a look at um, some Velociraptors. Some of the latest ones. Okay, this dark blue one is also one of the um, the latest one this one as well this is actually not blue I mean you may have like mistaken this for like blue but it's actually not blue I mean the name blue blue the velociraptor not the colors this is a pretty you know good variation I love this a lot as well it looks really really cool so for the velociraptors there are plenty of them to be really honest I mean if you take a look at this how many velociraptors have um you know Lego come up with so far Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. 9. 9 over here. I'm pretty sure there are actually more Velociraptors. But I mean, if you take a look at this, this is like Baby Blue. Uh, we don't have like Baby Echo and Delta, I think. You know, we kind of like lost them, I, I, I think. All right, let's move on and take a look at, you know, maybe two more T-Rex to close it off for the T-Rex. Okay, this one right here is actually not a Jurassic World T-Rex. This is actually all the way back in a couple of years, like I think like 2010, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, 2010, um, it's from you know Lego Dinosaur series. Nothing to do with Jurassic World, okay? And this was the very first Jurassic World T-Rex Lego figurine, the very first one. Yep, the very first one that they have produced. All the remaining ones, like, you know, this one, you know, the cream-colored T-Rex and the dark grey T-Rex is basically like repaints, repaints of Rexy. Yeah. Yep, so these two are pretty nice. Um, which one is my most favorite T-Rex color? Wow, this is tough. 
I'm probably going to go with the light cream colored neon T-Rex. All right, let's see what else we've got. How about let's take a look at some of the um, baby dinosaurs, shall we? Okay, this four right over here, they are actual, real, authentic Lego figurines. We have two Triceratops and two Ankylosaurus. One of them is actually bumpy, I think. Yeah, that's right. This one should be bumpy. Looks really nice. This one is possibly like a generic bumpy. And we have two baby Triceratops. You can see the horns are still pretty blunt. They're not like sharp and long. Yeah, so that's the baby Lego dinosaurs that we have. Let's put them right to the back. Okay, and let's move on and take a look at some of our prehistoric animals right here. Okay, we have two pteranodons that you know you guys are extremely familiar with. So we have two different variations. This was the very first one, you know, from 2015. Pretty nice pteranodon. And this is actually like a repaint several years later possibly about two years back i can't really remember yep and here we have two like you know what do you call this mutated dinosaurs i think um they're not from jurassic world okay but they're pretty nice pretty cool it's kind of like rubbery there are plenty of different color variations but we only have two two of them okay let's put this right to back Okay, we do have another, um, you know, baby Velociraptor right here. I think it is the exact same one. I think that's fine. Okay, and um, if you take a look at this, we have two. I think they are Silophrysis. I can't really remember. Or they could be Compies. And right over here, we have a bootleg version. But this bootleg version is actually pretty well done if you take a look at this. Yeah, it's so kind of a nice little figure. It's not an original Lego figure, but it's still very well made. Which is why I, I like it and then I put it in, in my collection together with um, my Lego dinosaurs. Otherwise, I'll be just throwing this into like a box and keep it inside one of my drawers. Nowhere to be found again. <laughs> yep, okay. Um, let's move on and take a look at other figures which i think we are just left with oh let's take a look at that sticky mo lock first these two sticky mo locks okay we have two sticky mo locks right here let's see okay this is a green one the green one is actually the newer one this was the very first sticky mo lock from jurassic world which was very cool back then, you know, when it was released, everybody was pretty excited because it is a brand new species and you can see the spikes at the um, back of the um, Sticky Moloch head is actually very nice, nicely done. So it looks like a very, very beautiful little, you know, herbivore. Yep, I, I love both of them. I like it when they produce like new species. I don't like them to actually like keep doing repaints, which is kind of um boring for me okay let's take a look at some of our remaining um velociraptors okay so this one is actually blue yes this is blue okay if you put this on you can see it has the blue stripe across the body the right eye has the blue patch around the eyes but not oh it's supposed to be different yeah but i think they got it wrong for this you can do a comparison with um, the previous blue. Okay, this is the previous version of blue, which is also like, you know, decent. I mean, if you take a look at this. Uh, yeah, you can see this one, they got the paint work right. Mm, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so this is basically an upgraded version of blue. Which one do you guys like more? Um, I definitely prefer the new one more because the colors actually stand out more. Yeah. But both are equally cool, to be honest with you. Okay, I'll put this right here. We are left with a couple of Velociraptors, four more, I think. So let's get them up 
over here. I just dropped one of the um, hats. Okay, there are like two over here. This is Charlie, if I'm not wrong. And um, this is Delta. So let's fix up this green Velociraptor. For this green one, I think it is a generic Velociraptor. It's not you know, one of the four raptors that we are familiar with. This one, um, I can't remember. It could be Echo. I mean, the colors actually does resemble Echo a little bit. But I think it's not. This is Charlie, for sure. I'm 100% sure that this is Charlie. There's no way I can forget about, you know, this. And, um, oh, we have one more. One more, guys. This is Echo. This is Echo. Okay, this is definitely Echo. And this is Delta, I think. I think so. All right, so basically I've shown you guys all my entire LEGO Dinosaurs collection but not too sure that you guys have been following me for the past few videos. We do have a um, con compatible, this is actually a LEGO compatible Mosasaurus, okay? It took us a long time, like a couple of days to fix this. It's like over 1,000 pieces to build this. So we finally got it done. This is the Mosasaurus. We still have like uh, Indominus Rex, T-Rex, Brachiosaurus, and Raptors to assemble. So stay tuned for that. Once we have done like, you know, full assembly of every dinosaur, we're gonna do like a, um, you know, a video on, on it, okay? So yeah, that's all for today's video. I mean, I think you guys, most of you guys stay to the end of this video because I always do like a quick tour, like a quick update of my collection. So check this out guys. I've basically got more Meshams because, wait, let me just zoom in a little bit. Because I really want to get, um, you know, the remaining ones, especially this mystery one. We have the, we have Owen, we have the T-Rex, um, we have the Ankylosaurus, but we don't have, the Dimorphodon is missing. Uh, but that's fine, okay? That's fine. I mean, take a look. It's right over here. Oh, yes, the Dimorphodon. I found it. Yes, it's in my drawer. So, so guys, so this is basically the set right over here. So, you have the Ankylosaurus, the T Rex, Owen, um, the Dimorphodon. And we are still lacking the, um, this one, which is the mystery one and the Velociraptor. Hopefully we'll be able to get two of them because we have five to open. Check this out, we have five to open. Probably on Saturday. If we have time, we'll probably do a video on Friday, who knows. Okay, oh yes, we still have this one to assemble, guys. You know, we should probably assemble this one really soon. Lego Dimensions Velociraptor. Yeah, we can assemble this like soon, I guess. Okay, yeah, it's a nice one. It's like three in one, something like that. Comes with over and it comes with ACU. Comes with a beautiful gyrosphere. And each one actually comes with like a stand. So that's pretty cool. Okay guys, so yeah, um are there any updates to show you guys? So this is basically my studio. This is my most favorite statue. The Mosasaurus is really huge. And this is my collection shelf of animal figurines. Have you guys, I mean, have you guys watched Dan Safari? If not, please subscribe to it. I basically upload animal videos every single day because I do collect a lot of like animal figurines. I'm trying to show you guys. Okay, so this is basically some animal figurines that we have. Okay, we have like the Sumatran Rhino, we have some bears. So I, I do collect a lot of um, animal figurines as well. So go on and search for Dan Safari. I'll probably put a link down below. And yeah, subscribe to that channel. I upload content on that every single day. And uh, yeah, and um, yeah, hopefully, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. 
things and um, goodbye.